What's going on guys? We get a uh, real unboxing for you today. The Johnny Morris Signature Series Baycaster. I know you guys have been asking me to do the Ride and Reel Arsenal video. I'm not quite ready to do that yet. But this will give you an idea of the stuff that I like to use. Comes in a nice foam patty case. We've got the manual. Which is like a parts breakdown list. Um, how to use the braking systems. You know, a little bit about the reel. Also comes with the lubrication guide. Um, the model number of this reel is JMX10SHD. Okay, just a sweet reel. We got um, the seven one to one. For those of you who don't know, every one full turn of the handle, your spool rotates seven point one times. So if this was a six four um, to one, same deal, and it'll rotate six point four times for every one turn of the handle. But this is a seven one. It's a eleven bearing system. It's a one piece aluminum frame. Aircraft grade aluminum spool, high strength duraluminum lightweight gearing, recurved carbon fiber handle, a silicone handle knob, and the titanium finish. And that finish is really sweet, it holds up great. Um, I got eight reels, you know, eight Morris reels, and they all have that finish on there. And um, it doesn't scratch up real easy, it's really durable. Um, you know, I love it. Um, we got dual braking on here. What that means is you got the magnetic. Um, breaking on the side here and this is more for uh, the end of the cast you know if you if you throw out and you don't backlash but you kind of get an overrun where it just kind of spools up you know that's where this breaking comes into play and I usually start it out five or six if it doesn't do anything you know I'll lower it so I can get a little further cast but if it starts to overrun then I'll raise the the magnets up and you just turn the dial so that's what that's for so on the inside is the main braking system. You know, this is just for the beginning or during the cast. It's got the six pins. Turn them on or off just by pushing them in. And just click it. And the more that you have loose is how many is going to stop you. You know, how many you're going to have slowing you down. You know, if you uh, if you want to, you know, pitch and flip with this reel, you know, I'll turn all these brakes, I'll push them all in. The way on the cast, there's no pins coming out to slow me down. So that's what that's for. So like I said, it's dual braking, so that's great to have. We got a clicking drag star, which is nice. And also you have the same clicking and the tension knob, so you can fine tune that. We got uh, the carbon fiber handle, which I already said. You know, the knobs kind of look like real grips. Um, yeah, just a great reel. The reel weighs 8.4 ounces. It's got a 14 pound drag system in it. And an idea of how much line it'll hold. See here, it'll hold 120 yards of 12 pound line. And each turn of the handle brings in 31 inches. So it brings in a lot of line. I want another setup for frogging, so that's what I'm going to use here. Um, let's see here. Retails 159, um, actually, which is a steal for this reel, in my opinion. Um, like I said, I have eight of these reels, uh, two of the black. Before this, they were gold, and before that, they were silver. Um, like I said, and I think they're worth the money. I like said it was 259 uh, for this one and the gold one prior. But uh, when the economy went down the crapper, Johnny Morris lowered the price of these reels by 100 bucks. So now you can get them for 159, and I said, which still is a steal to me. Um, I never bought one then when they were 259. I'm glad I waited because uh, when they came out, the gold ones did. Like a year later is when the price dropped. And that's when I started buying them. And the silver ones you could have got uh, for 169. I actually got those on sale for like 120. So I always got good deals on these reels. Um, but I mean, in my opinion, that you know they're worth the money, and I could have buy, you know, quite a few different reels in that price range, and I still choose this one. Um, it holds up well. Um, 
you know, I got, I got no problems with it. It's everything I'm looking for in a reel. And with that dual braking, you can fine tune every cast. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's the perfect reel in my opinion. So, I think that's about it. Um, I think I covered everything. Like I said, we got dual braking, the 7 1, clicking. Um, it's really easy to take apart, too. I don't know if you guys have seen my um, video on the pro qualifiers. This is taken apart the exact same way. Except maybe where there's bushings on the pro qualifier, there's bearings on this. But it's really easy to take apart. So that's another plus for this reel. So, anyways, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to also do a video on the rod that I'm about to go with this. And you guys have been asking me, uh, how do I know how much backing to put on a reel? So I'm going to do a video on that. i got a few tips that's pretty quick. So you don't have to, you know, calculate how many... Uh, inches it brings in you know I got to use these little gauge blocks which really helps out it's fast so I'll do a video on that as well so stay tuned for that and uh, thanks for watching guys bye